If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Sorloth SBC to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot four, medium high work rates, left footed, three star skill moves, a five star weak foot. Okay, so by default, this is a card that you're actually going to be using in the center back position or potentially CDM if he has the right stats for it. I mean, you could technically use him as a CDM, but it's more of a center back. It's a card you have to give a shadow chemistry style to. This card is strangely formatted. How tall is he? Oh, uh, you know what? Okay, so he's six foot four, medium high left, three star skill moves, five star weak foot, but jumping at an eighty, huh? The jumping could be a little bit of an issue. The only reason why I say a little bit is because he is six foot four. So, you know. Anyways, this card we have to provide with the. Uh, Shadow chemistry style obviously going to be very important uh, for how he generally performs because pace in this game is absolutely massive to work with. This card has potential to be very good, to be fair, because five star weak foot, lengthy, six foot four, right? All really crazy stuff to work with. The only thing that you might notice from time to time is maybe the acceleration, but I feel like he could compensate really well everywhere else. What other position changes does he have? Just center back. Okay. So, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, passing on the card in a fantastic area for a center back. That with a five star weak foot to W, 92 for composure. Uh, agility and balance low, but reactions and composure is in a good area. And then for physical, he's got strength, aggression, stamina. Jumping is on the lower side, though. So this is a card that we have to add into a Liga Santana team. They should have made this card a shapeshifter's premium in my opinion i don't know why they didn't do that uh because obviously in his case with the norwegian links and real sociedad links it's harder to work with right so i feel like that definitely could have been adjusted for this card but regardless we're gonna be trying him out in the defensive positions i'm gonna go ahead and unlock the spc i'll be right back oh uh, yeah they do be making this complicated with these types of cards um okay so the way that this team is formatted is perfect this is a tactic that we're actually trying out at some point to switch him over there though just the way that this team is uh set up Luka Modric yeah we'll just do the, do the rest of it like this yeah they should have made this a premium like the Norwegian link Norwegian and real Sociedad links I don't know if there's like that many to work with for that so a little bit weird there but yeah let's go see what the card's like man hopefully he's a beast oh I gotta stretch my back stretch the back I'm getting old guys I'm getting old man <laughs> Oh yeah, starting off hot, boys. Let's go, Vitinha. Yep. Yep. We'll take it. We'll take it. Look at my boy Correa, bro. My boy Correa is still mwah, bro. He's still mwah. Okay, next up. I don't even think we got any highlights with Sorloth last time, so. You guys see my boy Correa, man, with that movement. Like, oh, who moves like him, bro? Sorloth, you're, you were a striker. Come on. Where you at? There you are. Right side. Let's go. Best striker in the game. <laughs> yeah, see, having the reach is important for those types, right? It's always nice. Let's go for Legrand switch to the bottom. He's got the weak foot for it. Nice. I actually have to block out that passing area there. Good stuff. Really 
Nice. Great challenge again. Good. If I if I didn't get that ball, that would just be EA not uh, rewarding me with the manual defending, but he's got the reach there, which is good. And the ball was so not. Minch. Nicely cut out. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Actually timed the offside trap well there. Taken up at a legal position, only just however, Stuart. Well he loves running off the back of the Ligrin switch again. Gotta switch it up sometimes. That was good. I overcommitted there with Araujo, and then um, he wasn't going to occupy that spot right away, which is great. That strike back was good there again. See, like if I have him in that left center back area, it's almost like I have like a a left footed le uh, player there sometimes, you know. Oh. That was a really bad shot from his player there. With a the counterattack. Do a little driven. Nicely done. Kipped it in two. Also the build up too, right? To have the five star weak foot. Beauty. Let's go, boys. Look, stuff like this, right? I'm going to call him back again. Weak foot again. Ah, I could have scored there, too. Nice. Goes for the reach there again. Brother, I'm so... Uh, I, I've i lost, like, that thing of how insane Correa's attacking AI is. That, like, I he does it so fast for me sometimes. Yeah, I just want to see if Sorlog will do anything in that situation AI wise. Really good challenge. And yeah, does really well there. Switch again. Not the best choice, but you know, we move. Nah, we're good. We're good. There we go. I need some overcommitment. Oh, he's offside. Penalty! Let's go. And you know who it's going to, bro. The best striker in the game. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. No! I was kind of figuring, like, you know what? Let's do the same spot again. Trying to pick out a teammate. Okay, so nothing here. This is his track back. You see him in the middle? And he's back. Do that one, yeah, that's the one I want. 
There, slow him down a little bit. Still does well, okay. This is Holland, right? Holland is, uh... Once Holland gets past you, it's hard to, uh... Hard to get, uh, hard to get the ball after. Okay. I just wanted to see if AI would do anything. Like, I, I overcommit certain players to see if the track back does anything, you know? Sometimes the AI, they just catch it themselves, you know? Really weird that he scores this one, but... I don't want to touch anything here. I just want to see. There we go. That's the type of thing I want to see, right? So if I manually use him, will he use his reach to get the ball and stuff? His tracking was perfectly fine there. I want to see again here. Oh, this guy does a bounce pass to Ada. How well, how well, you know? That's his name, bro. Run a little bit. I don't want to touch anything here. AI yeah, is so crazy, man. Okay, makes a run there. Now we switch. His transition speed in that area was actually pretty solid. Like the way that I had to like move up and down with him was not bad at all. that pass there you go go down yes make it again yeah see it's it doesn't feel bad look and i almost got to that and i was really out of position so that reach that he has is um is really nice you definitely notice that on a consistent basis like that quick Oh, it switched me there. I had the height there with Sorloth, but I guess the switch kind of makes sense there too. Oh, keep it in. We're good. So that's me over committing again, right? It's not really his fault. I just wanted to see what it was like, kind of like chasing after. So as long as you're defending properly, you're holding your ground, utilizing his height and physical, like it, it is nice to work with for sure. Yeah, you see that transition speed? Like he actually does a really good job of doing that. And that's great because he's a taller guy He's going to offer you a physical presence, too. And I got another penalty there. Where's Sorloth? Top left. No. So, guys, uh, by the way, just forgive me whenever I say... Um, Oh, I'm using his weak foot here. I do that all the time when it comes to reviews, when I forget that I'm using a left-footed card, okay? It happens all the time. Uh, you guys, this is not the first time it happens. It will not be the last, okay? Because I'm so used to reviewing different cards sometimes, like, you know? Um, okay, so, guys, with the way that this card performs in-game, to be honest with you, it's still a pretty good center back, okay? It is pretty good. The things that you notice being low on the card is gonna feel low in game sometimes, right? So obviously with acceleration at a 90, in certain areas if you're up against like the Mbappes and that kind of stuff, that initial acceleration sometimes can feel a little bit low, but honestly, a lot of the times it really comes down to how you are specifically using the car because you have to use them in a way where you kind of just do that initial acceleration yourself to chase after the people because on the lengthy, the card is still pretty decent to work with. What you have to utilize the most when it comes to Sorloff is going to be the height of the card, right? The physical presence that he offers. The things like jumping being low, you will notice from time to time 
his six foot four height does compensate well for it for sure but the jumping part of the card specifically on those corner kick tactics that is where it can be annoying because you could be six foot a billion right and i need your jumping to be at a 99 to avoid that specific tactic as much as possible right but what do you do when you use a card like this you have to work with the weak foot as well as the strong foot right so because he's a left-footed player guys that by itself is a huge variable to work with because if i were to go to the liga santander players right now and i were to search for a left-footed player that plays in the center back position right let's take a look at the options you have to work with Alaba is the only option that you have and as you guys know working with a left foot on the left side is a massive variable to work with so you know what EA's SBCs so far have been a W this promo it would have been a massive W to allow you to give links to this card with anybody because he would have been really really sick honestly for, for that specific thing making him a premium shapeshifters card would have been fantastic right i think that's the only reason where the dislikes honestly come from because with this card being a left-footed center back in the left center back position if you can provide him with the links in your like liga santander team it's still going to be worth picking up guys for 50 60k you cannot go wrong with that because alaba is the only other option that does that and this card has a five-star weak foot to work with right but the thing that i have to see is obviously links for the future right like who can he potentially link with Marino's not terrible, actually, but four-star skill moves. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have skill moves from time to time, but that's not bad. That's not a bad one. Yeah, the only the only card that they can maybe do something crazy with is David Silva if they if they were to do that. But there isn't anybody else, right? I think Marino is the only other guy you can really do for at least a double link setup. These guys, I don't think they're going to do anything too crazy about them. Yeah, so that's like the main L of the card is the links. Like, But if you guys can link him in your Liga Santana team, if you can get those links with him, as a left-footed player on the left side for 61k, you can't go wrong with it, right? It's just, if you're trying to build different teams, that's where it's a little bit more of an issue because as a center back in game, he's still very, very solid to work with, right? So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Uh, we're going to do a 3 4 one, two video today because it's a center back review, so kind of, you know. Um, all right, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.